hi welcome back to my channel today I'll be talking about the essential newborn essential must-haves things I found very useful at the delivery for the first for the first few weeks of delivery and um, I'll be going through them in no order actually so let's get started the number one on my list is swaddle me blankets and receiving blankets the swaddle me is like this so it comes in this form you put in your baby's foot here feet here and then you take it this way there's a velcro that to get attached to so this is actually very useful especially if you don't know how to use the receiving blankets as a swaddle as to swaddle typically newborns prefer to be in the snuggly position they're just being they've been in the womb for nine months and so they're still very used to being in that same position so it actually makes them sleep longer and better actually i think <laughs> so yeah that's for the swaddle me blankets and also the receiving blanket has a lot of uses so newborns pit a lot and so you might want to keep this on your shoulder when you want to carry your baby also you can use this as to swaddle your baby and keep him in this position and wrap it round then this could also be used as a nursing cover when you want to breastfeed your baby in public if you feel the need to so you could just put this over and put your baby in there and so yeah those are the uses of the receiving blanket number two on my list is buckles and so buckles also serves almost the same thing as receiving blankets but i'll prefer to use a buckles so typically i put the receiving blanket and still put a buckles on top and also it's used to clean up because you baby spit out spit up and all that so usually want to use a receiving um, a bar clothes to catch all that while you're popping your baby and you know so number three on my list is the nail clip clipper you, newborns usually have very long nails that are very sharp also and so you don't want them to have marks all over their face so I usually use that to trim it down trim the nails down some people advise also to have mittens to wear but I didn't want to have I didn't want mittens so I was clipping it every week so just to allow the baby to feel the fingers and yeah pretty much the number four on my list is thermometer a rectal thermometer typically as a first-time mom I usually I don't know <laughs> what babies are crying for so if i've if a baby is crying and i've checked the baby's diaper and i've given the baby food the baby has burped the next thing i do is to use the rectal thermometer to check baby's temperature because maybe it might be running the temperature your baby might be running the temperature and you wouldn't know so i typically check the temperature just to know because when you call in to the doctor's office to say oh my baby is feeling my baby is acting weird so they will probably ask you what is the temperature before you can come into the ER or to see a doctor so that you want to know all these things so yeah rectal thermometer is a must have the number five on my list is this the monitor this monitor is very good because when your baby is asleep when your baby is sleeping hearing phantom cries all the time you don't want to keep going into the room there just to be sure if your baby's still asleep or you know to know what's happening to your baby and also when you move your baby to the nursery you also do not want your baby you also want to keep looking at your baby right so it has this that also has night vision and it has the monitor where you can view your baby from why I prefer why I like this is because everybody in the house you download the hubble app and all have it on their phones so even when you're not even in the house and someone is there you can keep still looking at your baby yeah which is also a very good thing and yeah 
that's how I stalk my baby <laughs> with this. The baby's in the room and I just walk around with this and just keep looking at the baby just to be sure what the baby's doing. This is cotton ball, a washcloth, and the q tips. The first time your baby your bath, you usually use this um, a cotton ball to clean the umbilical cord, the stump area. So I usually use that to dry it up. And also use the Q-tips just to make sure everything down there is dry. Then if I see something in my baby's eye, the eyelids or something, I use the Q-tips to take it out. Then also the washcloth, when the baby is born, the skin is still very, very tender and soft. Still very tender. So I was using washcloths and water to clean his area. After every diaper change, I wasn't using wasn't using wipes, I was using washcloth and water for the first week then the other week I started using water wipes before I started using the huggies and pampers number seven on my list is this the Fisher Price pack my baby was chilling inside this like all the time the baby is usually in this and so it's very good for nap time it has an easy fold it has an easy fold which is very easy for you to store it when you're not using it if space is a is a challenge for you so it's actually very good you put the baby in there and yeah, you can go about doing whatever you want to do and the baby is relaxed the baby can take naps the baby can do whatever he wants to do inside this very very useful number eight on my list is the baby tub and so why I like the Fisher Price baby tub is because it has this, it, it goes through stages. So the first time when you're giving your, bub, your baby the bath, the baby stays in this. Then when the baby outgrows this, you take out this. You take it out. And the baby can sit down in this. Use it to practice how to sit. Then when the baby also outgrows this, you can take this out and it becomes a full top for the baby. I found this very, very useful. And yeah, I still use it up till now. So then the number 10 on my list is the boppy, the boppy cloth, the boppy pillow. This boppy pillow, you wear it round your hip. And you use it to sit upright while you breastfeed the baby or you bottle feed the baby, whichever one, it's very, very useful. And also why I like the boppy is because it serves many functions. You use this for tummy time, you use this to sit the baby up, to prop the baby. You also would use this for, yeah, basically for sitting, for feeding, for tummy time, for propping the baby up. So I think the boppy has a lot of uses, like up to four uses, and your baby will keep using this apparently maybe around maybe 12 months, even nine months. Yeah. So yes, guys, these are my essential newborn essentials. And if yeah, if you have some other things that you found useful, you might want to share. I put them in the comment section below. Yeah, and so yeah, let me know what you think about them, and um, see you in my next video. Thank you for watching and subscribe and like. Share with your friends. Thank you so much. Bye bye.